the, there are balance sheets. Uh, you know, you'll see one of the exercises, for instance, in the uh, CAPR exercise. You will not find a major debt service fund. They're all non-major. Very hard to find that. Um, Now, uh, let me explain to you um, OK, this was, I, I skipped over this, but this is one of the most, imp the first slide, the first bullet is very important here. Principle and interest. Let's assume you have a bond which pays interest on October 1 and April 1. <coughs> Your year end is December 31st. What would you do in a business enterprise on December 31st? You'd calculate interest accrual, right? For three months from October 1 through December 31st. And the modified accrual basis, no. Okay, now we've got a really smart CFO. Comes out and says, issues bonds on December 1 of the year. Prince, first interest payment is due six months later, and then again six months later is principal and interest. So the, both the principal and interest are due a year from that December. He uses a deferred serial bond where the principal payment doesn't kick in till January 1. Basically what happens now is you have totally avoided paying the principal during the first year. Or even let's take an easier example with the interest. So take this example again. You, are, you issue a bond on April 1. When's the next interest payment? October 1, right? So you make the interest payment. When's the next interest payment? April 1, where you pay the interest and the principal. Guess what? That first year, only one interest payment. Not nine months of interest, but only six months. Of because what modified accrual basis is, says when interest and principal are generally recognized in the period in which they are legally due. Since it's not legally due on December 31st, happens all the time. Play around with the interest payment date to escape the first year's full interest payment. Do people understand that? Do you see how? Um, Let's take a look at an example. Assume bonds are issued on January 1 and pay interest on January 1 and July 1 in the amount of 100,000. The fiscal year ends December 31st. What 